everyone, it's Kidoo, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing the altar figure for Merlin from Freight Freight <laughs> from Fate Grand Order. I don't play Fate, I don't really watch much Fate. I'm just obsessed with Merlin's design. So we're gonna open him up. As you can see, the box he came in was massive. I'm finally getting a few things in from <laughs> Japan because I'm spending money and getting them shipped through DHL. I don't wanna talk about how much extra I spent on shipping to get him shipped over from Emmy Emmy. It wasn't even my choice. They told me they were going to cancel my order if I didn't pay the extra like $80 on top of the already, I don't know, $80 I had already spent on shipping for him. So it's just really stupid. I'm gonna get him out of this box. Got a new little card from Emmy Emmy. This is how he is packaged. This was on top. This is how he is in there. He's so pretty. So his box is still pretty big. The box they shipped him in was de shipped him in was definitely massive, but they packed him really, really good, as they always do. And he is in like this massive box with the purple details. Here's the top. Don't don't mind my dog barking. Here's the bottom. Here is the front of his box right here. We'll get on into opening him. I'm really excited. I've been waiting for him since last year, but because COVID and everything, and he was delayed a little bit, and then of course COVID happened, so I couldn't actually get him shipped to me, and it was a whole nightmare. I'm quite upset about it. But he's here now, and I am, cannot tell you how excited I am to finally have him. He looks absolutely stunning. And I'm just, I just want to get him open. I just want to get him open. I do. Okay. And his Nendroid as well is also stuck in Japan still because I don't want to spend more shipping on like FedEx or friggin' DHL. But he was priority to get to me because again, they were going to cancel my order if I didn't finish or if I didn't pay for the extra shipping, which is just fucking stupid. But anyways, the inside of the box has this purple lining. It is very pretty. Instructions, as always. He smells very strongly of plastic, which is to be expected. He has tape all around the plastic here. I'm just gonna go through and cut all of that off. It looks like he actually has a bunch of these little metal uh, twisty tabs on the box to keep the box together. I'm gonna undo those. Oh, his nails are painted. So I'm gonna slide out the base first. So this is the base here. I think it's quite pretty. Um, of course, I'll show you guys a closer look of everything at the end of the video. But the only thing is that there is actually already some scratches on the bottom side of the base underneath. And I don't really know what to do about those. I don't know if you can see them here. Uh, maybe I'll show you after. As you can see, like those white spots. And they're also on the plastic here. So I don't know if it was damaged from this plastic that ended up on the base. But I tried to wipe it off and it's just not doing anything. Which is really sad because it is a clear base. And then seeing those spots, they're not like small scratches. They're like actual marks on it. So that's a little disappointing. But the base itself is really pretty. The design is really nice. Having that kind of gradient into the see-through center and then you have the beautiful pink flowers here on the light purple very pretty this is how he is packaged here of course the base was sitting in the bottom he is in the centerpiece he has his sword and his staff here oh i'm so concerned taking him out oh my god so he has these little base pieces in his feet just to keep his feet and the pegs so they don't shrink. He's also kind of greasy, uh, like a few of the other figures that I have received, which is bizarre to me. Again, why is he greasy? <laughs> this is him on the base. He looks gorgeous. His hair is freaking massive. What I'm actually surprised about is his hair is actually clear in a lot of places. I didn't realize it was going to be clear. I thought it was going to be white, um, but it's actually kind of clear. Now I have mixed feelings about the clear hair. Uh, for the most part, I'm not actually that big of a fan of it because I find that it tends to be more shiny and plasticky looking and not as matte as in like the photos. I'm just gonna slide out some of the plastic that's under his arms. Here is his hand with the extra sword.
Very nice, very pretty. I wanna confirm that he does have painted nails and they're quite lovely. He's covered in that grease that I mentioned. Um, his one leg is literally just coated in it. I don't know if you can see uh, his leg right on this side, like the pant leg there, you can see it literally looks wet. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Oh my goodness, his staff looks gorgeous. So it just has some plastic and plastic tape. So you just pop off uh, the bottom half under the little edge here of his staff spear thing because there's a spear on the back and then you slide this top part in like so and then he looks like this very pretty so i'm just gonna try to see if i can wipe off that greasy spot and see what's going on with that <laughs> and i will show you guys a closer look of him right away this is how he is up close I did manage to get that grease off of his pants, which is nice. Unfortunately, he does have that scratch on the center of his base, which upsets me a little bit. Um, you can't see it that much when he's like this, but you can kind of see where the scratches are underneath. But here are the flowers on his base. The base would be really pretty if it wasn't <laughs> like scratched up. his pants here and his face is very pretty I am a little torn on the hair of whether or not I've never been like a huge fan of when they make the hair kind of like clear but that's just me we have his staff here And the material of like the little ribbon bits here are kind of sparkly, <laughs> which I find really pretty. And as you can see the sculpt of his hand and all of his nails are painted the way Alter does. Always appreciate and love that. I'll throw in a little clip of what the sword part of the staff looks like. Because I didn't pose him with the sword. I just posed him with his hand outflung like this. As you can see, the sculpt of his hand and the nails are painted, of course. He's really pretty. These are the details of his robes here. I do notice that the little white pieces, um, like right around there, are a little rough looking. But that's not the end of the world. You have to look pretty close to, to see that. Colors are really nice. I just, I love characters like this that are <laughs> just so pretty, especially with the crazy amount of hair. Like, you can see how much hair he has in his weird little anime mullet that only works for anime characters. Here is the back side of his staff. And the back of his hair. You can see the little feathery bits that come out of the shoulders there in his robe. He 
He is a very pretty. I do kind of wish his hair was the tiniest bit less shiny, but because they did use that kind of clear plastic, I feel like that's always inevitable with that kind of that kind of plastic. You can see the gradient of his hair here is like the white, but there's you get kind of the purple in there. The shading on the white robe being that kind of blue. You yeah, know, he's really pretty. Other than the base being scratched and there being grease on his pants originally when I took him out of the box, um, I'm pretty impressed with him. I like him quite a bit. I'm really happy to have him. Again, I don't really do much in the Fate fandom. I just really enjoy his character design. I'm a sucker for very pretty figures. And now they've announced another Fate Go figure of like a scruffy looking bearded dude. And I think I might need him. Uh, yeah, just to add to my collection. I don't think I have any figures with a facial hair. And I feel like I require that. Um, but yeah, so this is the figure. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and this gave you a better look at him and you got to see the unboxing experience. I appreciate you all watching so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll leave links in the description below for my affiliate links through CD Japan and Tokyo Taco Mode. If you purchase anything through those links, I get a small commission. Thank you guys so much to those of you who have purchased through those links before and to those who plan to or will in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I'll also link my social media in the description as well. I have a card link, so you should be able to get access to all of those affiliate links and my Instagram down there as well. And my figure collection, which feel free to add me on there. I have my whole collection logged on that website, so feel free to browse. You can ask me any questions. Uh, just send me a message to say hi. It's always fun <laughs> to interact with people. I'm sorry, I still haven't been super active in the comments. Just busy with work or super active with videos. Also just busy with work and just getting energy for that is, <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!